I'm Victoria Cooksey, and this is how to make roast chicken Victoria Cooksey style. Start off by preheating the oven to 375 degrees. While that's heating up, I've got a big roasting pan here that I've lined with one piece of regular foil and then another piece of nonstick foil so you protect the pan, get the chicken out easily. In the bottom of this, I've got a nice heaping tablespoon of dried lavender. This one would be optional because I know you might not be able to find it, but uh, this bag was like four or fifty, and that was for a whole bag, which is like an ounce. So it definitely goes a long way. So I put that in, and then I've got two teaspoons of dried thyme. So here's the raw chicken. Most of you may know this, but just in case you don't, this is the first time you're cooking roast chicken. When you get out your chicken out of the package, inside are like things like the neck, the liver, stuff like that. So you want to take that out before roasting it. I've got four slices of butter. And what I've done is I've actually sprinkled this regular butter with a little bit of salt, pepper, and more of the dried thyme. Because this is going to go under the skin of the breast of the chicken. So it's a wonderful way to flavor the meat. And anything you can do to get extra flavor is great. Plus, this keeps all that lovely meat from drying out. So this really is the key. I would not skip this step. And just kind of reach in there. It's not the most enjoyable thing in the world, but definitely recommend And I just kind of bring the fat back over like so. In this cup, I've just heated two tablespoons of the regular butter. And you're going to pour this kind of gently over everything and what this does is give a really nice brown color. So often I get questions when people see a picture of my roast chicken of how'd you get that nice color on it? Well this is how. Plus I'm going to do another video where I use leftovers from this and this is actually going to be a component of that with the butter and the juice left over for a lovely mushroom pasta dish down the road so look for that video too. Your very last steps to get this ready for the oven is I've just very lightly used just a regular salt or you can use some Celtic sea salt over the top of the whole chicken, which is just to flavor the skin. So if you're going to eat the skin, do the salt. If not, you can actually skip it. And I'm going to pour in one cup of water. That combined with the chicken juices makes a lovely juice for sauce or gravy. Or like I said, we're going to actually save that and use that in another video to make a pasta dish. Now I'm going to put this in the oven at the 375 degrees. This bird's six pounds, so it's really going to depend on the size of your bird, how hot your oven actually gets, those kind of things. I simply cook mine about an hour and 45 minutes to an hour and 55 minutes, which some people might say is a little long, but it's the way I actually, my thigh meat thin is always done. If I do it less than that, I find it's underdone. And with this butter inside, my chickens are always very juicy, so that's kind of what I'd suggest, but you can look up meat cooking guidelines and go with what you think. I've just taken the chicken out of the oven. It's all nice and golden brown. And if you look close, you can even see a bit of that dried thyme showing through the skin and all its lusciousness. This just needs to set on a little cutting board like this for at least 20 minutes. You can even go to 30 minutes. Also make sure your cutting board has one of these ridges on it because juice will come out of this both while it's resting and when you slice it. So you don't want any messes on the counter. I'm just going to put a strainer over a dish here. This dish is one that does have a lid that fits it because I want to save the juice and leftover chicken for that pasta dish for another video. Taking all the liquid and I want to strain it. That way you know if there's any chicken skin or get the herbs out and various things you're just going to have a nice smooth juice. You can see the color there. It's gorgeous. This just tastes so good by itself. When I'm serving the chicken, I do like to put just a little drizzle of that over it. Or you can turn it into a gravy, or if you want to make the pasta in the next video, go ahead and save this all. Just going to keep going until it's all in there. You can see how much juice is coming out of here, just at resting. So definitely that's the reason you want that little lip on your cutting board. And now I'm going to cut a piece off. And now you know how I make my roast chicken, so hopefully you'll go out and try it. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos. See you next time.